This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey for XLO Poly Horror Games. Check the link in the description below for some of his works. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to another demo. Tonight we're taking a look at a game called Dark Fracture. This is for an upcoming first-person psychological horror game. Uh, the demo is currently free to download on Steam, so if you like what you see, link is in the description below. This comes to us by a company called Twisted 2 Studios. They're doing both the dev and the publishing. Um, I think this is actually their first game. It's advertised as being quote-unquote between reality and nightmare. Graphics look really nice, so I figure, yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. So with that being said, enough is enough. Let's dive right in, shall we? This is the demo for Dark Fracture. And it's also gotten, I think, only two reviews, so this really will be a blind concept. I will not be pressured by, or influenced by, should I say, other reviews on whether it's good or not. Of course, it couldn't be worse than Centralia. Okay, uh, Broken Mind leaked his fractured soul into a dark, endless labyrinth in the Eternal Night. He longed for respite in, from the loneliness, only to realize he had never really been alone. Uh, quick side note, just want to let you guys know, I checked the video settings and it was frozen at uh, 800 by 600, so there was no way for me to change the resolution. So if things are cut <sighs> off... <sighs> oh, we got a voice. Nice. How long was I out? I need a cigarette. Right there with you, buddy. Where's my damn lighter? Prologue. Dark Nights. Okay, so... Wads to move. It's a very slow crouch. Can we sprint? We can? Okay, cool. Um, turn up the mouse sensitivity just a hair. Crank that a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we need the smokes. Is there anything on the desk? No. Bare walls. Anything in the cabinet? So very, very slow. Duck. More smokes. Hang on. Okay, that's cool too. Old candle. You need a working lighter to light a candle. Well, that makes sense. I smoke about a pack of these daily, and I truly do not believe you can work here unless you are a heavy smoker. It's a habit, and whenever I manage to visit the town, I buy as many as I can since this facility is so isolated. But hey, at least they're cheap. Oh, okay, so we use the mouse wheel for that. Martardo. Yeah, well, it's definitely a pun of Marlboro. Put that back. Is there anything else we can look at in here? No, okay. Uh, forensic science. A lot of forensic science. More cabinets. Right, get a deck of cards out of y'all. This might take a hot minute. Sergeant Theodore. It's kind of giving off a Five Nights at Freddy's vibe. Theodore, he was left behind on a car seat in a cab seven years ago by a passenger before me. His enigmatic smile caught my eye, and we have been best friends ever since. You don't get out much, do you? Uh, he does not say much, but he uh, is a great listener. Well, that is good. I always wonder what he's looking at. Honestly, looking at that face, it's kind of me when they're, I have to put up with a various person opening their mouth. And we're not going to go down that avenue. We're moving on. Uh... The slow crouch is really, I think, gonna get it to me. Graphics look okay, though. I'm, I am digging that. It's got that TP ass, ass napkin. Oh, I love it. Butt polish. That's a new one, too. Okay, going forward, when I have to use TP for my bunghole, I'm just gonna start calling it... <laughs> what the hell? I was in the middle of an expert. Okie pokey. I've never seen this device work properly. Okay. Uh, okay. Can we do anything with the book? No, we can't. 
So apparently now we're, we're done talking about ass napkins, or the game is just saying stop talking about them. Old nasty coffee mug. Oh, hello. Nope. It's jammed. A lot of pills. Holy cow. Is that Ave Maria? Stop. Might have to, might have to mute that um, for the sake of uh, not getting demonetized. Okay. Personal medication. Amentaz amentazine, whatever. Personal antipsychotic medication. My psychiatrist tells me... It, it is used for severe mental illness that do not improve. Great. I've been consuming these for several years now. Common side effects which I'm experiencing are drowsiness, low blood pressure, blurred vision, and dizziness. Okay. This is quite the uh, layout. I got a coffee cup. Or not. That's cool too. Okay. That's fine. Didn't want my star schmucks anyways. Portland. Okay. So... Okay, so we're in the um, New England region. Um, I see Pittsfield, Portland, Maine, Biddleford, Sanford, Kennebunkport. This is this going to go Lovecraftian on me? I mean, Lovecraft does do a lot of stuff in the Rhode Island area. Oh uh, yeah, it's locked. Where did I leave the key? Just remember that I locked the door to the office before my nap, just in case someone came in and caught me off guard. I remember placing the key in one of the desk drawers before passing out. That is good to know. Well, we already did that. That's cool. Oh, hello. Yeah, okay. That's cool. We already did that. That's fine. Tap. Oh, hang on. We have a sanity meter currently at 97. Photo of James. This is the last photo of James that I took. Brings up so many memories. I really miss him. Uh, brother? That baby? I think your semen might have turned. Okay, so hang on. We got a key. Key to the office. Brilliant. Take that. What What's a. The office key. Where's my lighter? Patience, Grasshopper. We're looking for it. Oh, we can jump. Can't stay open. We have more pills. Let's go ahead and just open the office door. <clears throat> okay, some of these are locked and key up by a specific key. Press on the door. Okay. Brilliant. So right click. Our sanity is dropping like flies. It's a little dark in here. Maybe I should turn the lights on. Can we grab our antipsychotics then? I did not expect our sanity to be dropping like that. That paints things in a whole new perspective. We got some ch loose change. Hang on. That we can't pick up. Book that we can't pick up. Okay, so we apparently are a mortuary assistant. All right, so let's just go ahead and see every. Well, we're not gonna go there yet. It's gonna. That's locked. Okay, so it's jammed. Office key doesn't fit. Anything on the tables? Nope. Section's not available during demo gameplay. Okay. I'm liking the atmosphere. There's a few jump scares that really were kind of out of sorts. But it definitely shakes people up. Holding track at 94%, that's good news. I wonder how we regain our sanity. This is going to be like something from uh, Amnesia the Dark Descent, where, where we have to solve puzzles to uh, regain sanity. So there's something over there. What the hell? Wow, our sanity dropped like a rock. You okay there, mate? That seems superflu- That ain't good. We don't have a reflection. Whoop. Okay. 
Well, nope, doesn't stop the leak. Okay, so our sand is slowly coming back. So maybe it just re naturally regains. Maybe it just naturally regains itself if uh, we stay away from the cheeky jump scares. Like, what was the point of that doing the jump scare on us? I don't get it. No, okay, hang on. Um, we go up. Oh, there we go. Let's go over here into the ladies' room. Forgive me, interrupting somebody uh, taking a leak. That's cool. I'm guessing we're probably like a night security guard or something. Uh, got a beer bottle. Up, oh, we got another key. Edward's locker key. The key to my locker, it's old and rusty. I've always wondered how many people have held it before me. Well, Natch, let's go and grab that. My locker key. I'm gonna slide it in on my office <laughs> right, Specimen report 37544. Jane Doe was injected with 85 millimeters of compound O-77 Tango India 4 prior to plantation three months ago. The body of the unidentified woman was recovered from the nearby woods. The body had severe lacerations and was missing an arm. Uh, though the reason behind the body's condition never dis was never discovered, the body was discovered in remarkable shape at the latest checkup. Over the last six months of the observations and autopsies from thus far... Uh, okay, that's a fragment. Uh, the body has undergone the early stages of decomp early on. Uh, however, the skin and limbs have been wholly repaired. Note the body seems to have moved three something north from where it was first planted though this I'm going to say there is no was no evidence of tamper of tempering I think that means tampering from neither animal nor employees nor had there been any something or other that might have pushed the something or other okay so is this like a morgue on a body farm I wonder how many people do body farms still exist that seems I don't know. Okay. Autopsy room, I got no business going there. Of course you do, because the plot said so, Edward. The changing room is such a mystery. Okay. So many former employees left their belongings behind and never came back to collect them. It is almost like they did not know they were... It's almost like they did not know they were not coming back or were in a real big hurry. It is weird either way. Anyway, I gotta check my locker. Yep, we're still on the quest for your smokes. Or in this case, Windex and some nastiness. Okay. Lots of cleaning supplies. We still need our lighter. It's locked. I never actually seen it open. Uh, I don't know if this is English as their native language. I am noticing some. That's my locker. I got the key. Yay! Hmm. Home sweet home. Well, kind of. There it is. A metal lighter I usually carry around with me. It has a limited capacity for lighter fluid and needs to be refueled every now and then, so I would only use it when necessary. Cool. The lighter is used as a secondary source of light. You have a limited amount of fluid in your lighter, so use it light wisely. Okay, cool. So now... The lights are gonna go out. Oh, crap. I almost forgot about the pill. I need to take the oxydiotine pill from my locker. It is a small, shady looking red and white capsule. I've got plenty more upstairs, not that I ever want more of these, and I need to consume them daily if I want to continue working here, part of the rule book, okay? There it is. Uh, faculty facility medication. The administration here requires all staff to consume this pill daily with strangely specific directions. They claim the pill is for quote staying mentally alert on the job unquote. And the daily ritual and the daily ritual quote centers our thoughts unquote or quote focuses the mind unquote or something to that effect. Why do I feel like this is kind of turning into like SCP? Well, I better do it the way they asked. As with all these cameras around, it feels like they're watching my every move. Uh, time again for my daily dose again. Pill after pill, day after day. I stopped caring about what this dubious medication is for. 
After all, I am still alive. As for side effects, well, I cannot really tell because it's not like I have always been stable to begin with. That's the spirit. Uh, what's odd is that they strictly require me to consume it in front of the bathroom mirror. I wish someone would really tell me what was really going on. Sometimes. Okay. Let's just finish looking around here. Well, obviously, there's something in, like, there's a camera in the mirror that's watching you take it. Let's just finish our route around in here. That's some really nasty shower stall. Two of them, for that matter. Um, hang on. Okay. That's nothing. That's cool. I wasn't sure that was, like, matches or lighter fluid, and that's a nasty jacket. So let's go to the men's room and pop that pill. Yeah, I know. It's time for the... There we go. Yeah, stand in front of the bathroom mirror. That's what I'm trying to do. Maybe we gotta do it in the women's room? That'd be awkward. Hello, ladies. Hello, pills. Uh, there we go. Use. Pill needs to be consumed for. Oh, in the men's. What I just did. Well, not the men's room. Look, it just said the bathroom, alright? Oh, hang on. Um. Bear with me. Let me just adjust the sensitivity just a wee bit more. Come on, mouse. Be good. What are you? What are you bitching about? There we go. Okay. There it. What I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Many random paranormal effects will occur throughout Dark Fracture. Your sanity will be strained by such events. Your actions will also affect your sanity. Try to preserve it to get through the, the blank. Push it too low, and you may not make it. Now we're back at 100% sanity. Got this over with. Finally hit the store room for a smoke. There you go. Well, I have done as I was told. Bravo. Obeying the administrator's the administration's instructions is the only way I continue working here. I've learned of a few blind spots, though, where I can get a, catch a break from their incessant crying. I usually smoke in the aisles of the storeroom. I got a secret spot there with a step stool and an ashtray. I always leave it behind. It is one of the only places out of view of the blank. Probably out of view of the camera. So we got our lighter, so let's go back to our office and see if we can grab our smokes. Don't look at me, I'm done smoking for the day. Okay, shut you, shut you. So do we already have all the smokes we need? I guess we probably have them in our pockets, okay. Sandy's still at 100%. I guess we can't take the coffee mug. Let's go this way. Because there was the jump scare around the other one. Have a look outside. And it's monsoon season. Yeah, what the frick was that? Is was that? It's called thunder, my friend. It happens. Door to the facility upstairs. I should have a key to it in my locker. Okay. I wonder if this is gonna be... That was weird. I wonder if this is gonna be quest-driven. Like, we cannot pick up something until we have already... Uh, activated the quest line for it. I mean, this is a demo, so I'm not going to be too smacky with it. That word made no sense whatsoever. Um, 
Oh, hello. Edward, by the time you read this, I would no longer I would no longer be in your life. I've changed my phone number, taken my belongings, and will be staying at a hotel for a short while. I left your keys on the desk. I won't be needing them anymore. I just cannot watch you do this. I loved you, Edward. I still love you. And that is exactly why I can't stomach seeing this. I can't help you if you fight me at every turn, and I won't stand by blank. Can we read that a little bit more? Hang on. Okay. Um, and I won't stand by while you destroy yourself, destroy us. I know I'm being selfish. I know this must hurt, but I'm hurting too. And no matter how many times we spoke, my words never reached you. I am sorry it has to be this way, but I know that if I tried saying goodbye in person, I would change my mind. So before that happens, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Okay, that ain't good. Oh, hang on. Edward's wallet. This wallet was given to me as a gift. It is loaded with memories, some good, and a few I'd rather forget. Looking at you, Cynthia. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't see my keys, though. Uh, let's go back to our desk then. So I'm guessing Cynthia is the one who wrote the note. Still, we can't touch the book. Nothing in the desk drawer. More pills. Okay. I think let's now go down yonder. Well, let's go look at this desk one more time to see if anything's popped up. And then we'll go down that hallway that apparently gave us a proper jump scare. Uh, oh, hang on, we looked at this already? Yeah, okay. She's still up there in one of the outdoor cages. I will need to check on all of them when the rainstorm passes. Okay. So, yeah. It's not available during demo. Okay. Not, it's locked. All right. Storeroom. Is this where we can have our illicit smoke break? Surrounded by jugs of uh, flammable cleaner. All right. Just hang out here. Track is at ninety percent. A lot of. Funnels and trays and whatnot. Cynthia, I miss you. Where the hell are my cigarettes? Probably on your desk. Calm down. Well done, and we're going for a smoke break and leaving your cigarettes in the office. Who knows? Maybe you'll leave your keys behind a cadaver next. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I'm sure we're going to have to utilize this at some point. Like, we're gonna grab our smokes, light up, and then the lights are gonna go out. What's this? Weird valve handle. I don't remember it ever being here. Okay. Many objects in the game are interactive, and some can be moved around. Pick up or move, pick up or drop movable objects. Okay. Well, I don't know. It's a valve of some kind. Um... Ooh. God! What in the blue frig? I can't pick it- oh, there we go. Well, something caused this thing to go dinky dow. Go just leave it out at arm's length. That jump scare was just cheap. I will say that much. We're gonna go and just leave this here. Probably an important call. Hang on, hang on. Shit, missed the call. Probably get back to work. Do you want to smoke or not, dude? Damn, I missed the phone call. It might have been important, and someone is probably going to come in to check on me. I better get busy from what I recall. There are six bodies occupying the freezers in the freezer room. 
A routine checkup is in order. I will also need to go upstairs and check on the decomp progress process in the outdoor cages after that. Okay. So I guess we're done smoking. 82%. Okay, so our sanity is slowly coming back. So the freezer room. Have we looked at this note already? We probably have because there's nothing on it. Can we just... Okay, so we can't take the antipsychotics. No, I think we need to go up. It said upstairs, right? In the no, okay, just in the freezer room. Well, let's. Um, we, the valve is for something. Okay. We probably won't be able to do that until after we check the freezer, because it says like we need to do it after the storm passes. So what is the So let's Oh ho ho, there's the elevator. Before we do that, I just want to do one more cursory check up around here. I to move both trolleys out of the room before opening the freezers. Come on. Okay. Now for the second trolley. Come on. Go on then. Okay, physics. Okay. Just smack it around a little bit. That's cool. Uh. Never mind. Up and around and around the corner and huck you out of the way. <laughs> Just go ahead and send it flying, that's cool. Oh. Stop it. There we go. And this light's gonna go out as soon as I finish checking on the stuff. Now that this is done, I can go check the occupied freezers. Uh, hang on, let me just get this out of the way. Clear you. Okay, physics are a little bit chunky. Leave you there. Oh, go back. So apparently we can't just huck it out of the way. Go ahead and shut you. It's broken. Someone clearly wasn't paying attention when he was opening the door. Sandy's slow to come back. That's good news. Nothing. Guessing the occupied freezers are in the back, but when does that ever stop me? I'm digging the atmosphere so far. Uh, it's just I kind of feel like... Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, what? Fucking hell. Body is missing from the freezer. Fuck. Better use the office phone to report this immediately. 76%. Okay. And then the phones are gonna be dead and we can't use it, right? Sorry, I'm not trying to sound cynical. I just, I, I played a lot of horror games in my life. He's being really. Stop it. Maybe he's being. Maybe he thinks he's being real funny, but I don't. I don't. Who the fuck was that on the line? I can't deal with this bullshit right now. A camera shutter clicking away, but. 
Where's it coming from? The phone line is dead and this shift is getting very strange. I'm hearing unfamiliar sounds coming from the far side of the morgue. A body is missing and a strange objects just appear out of nowhere, but I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Time to investigate where these noises are coming from. Now I'm trying to conserve my lighter fuel. There's the valve. Still don't know what that's for. Hey! Who's there? What in the world? This body should be. This is messed up. That's the missing body bag. It's now on the autopsy table. If this is Norman's idea of a prank, I'm going to fucking kill him. Well, at least I found it, so that's one less thing to explain, but I can't decide if the door opened by itself or if I imagined it. And what's causing this life flashes? I better find out. Well, there's a Polaroid here. This camera's often used to photo- Okay. Often used to photograph the deceased during an autopsy and to document the progress of decomp. It has a bright flashlight attached. Brilliant. Ah, it has an unlimited source of light. Cool. Yeah, but how do we use it? I mean, oh, cool, we can do both. Oh, okay, so we gotta hold down the mouse button to do that. Okay, um... I don't wanna use my light, but... It's jammed, a lot of tools, then pick one up, you fool! It's only a couple of seconds and then we can use it. That's good news. We can use it in conjunction with our lighter. Something must be going on here. Okay. We only just do this on a regular basis. Let's see if we can find the key. Down on the tropes now, y'all. Where the hell am I? You, my friend, are tripping balls. Whoa, hello. Okay, now we're talking, y'all. Now we're picking up on this. I am digging this now. We are done being Lovecrafty, and now we're like... How do I get out of here? Whoa! No power again. This place is so old, and no surprise it's falling apart, but seriously, what impeccably bad timing. Gotta check the fuse box in the storeroom and sort this out. Beautiful fucking day. Oh, come on. That was a great segue into, like, the other world. I was- r I really enjoyed that sequence. Don't get it. Fuse box seems okay. Good Try lord. Emergency lights. Let me switch the emergency lights on. I think it's the orange switch. Hopefully all the emergency lights are working now. I should locate my medication quickly. Do 
Swiss. Yeah, because we're at 46. Emergency lights are on. They don't provide much illumination and only operate in small parts of the facility, but it's better than nothing. Now I can at least see where I'm going instead of groping around in the dark. This is a good chance to go grab my medication. It is kept on the cabinet in the office. I have a feeling we're not going to get our medication, though. Ah! This isn't happening. Be together. You can get through this. This isn't real. Keep it together. You can get through this. This is real. Let's check our... Okay, fuel is still holding strong. That's good news. <laughs> Steady on. It. Your personal antipsychotic medication can be used to restore some sanity. It can be found in game in random spots, but it is very uncommon. Press tab to open the inventory and use your meds. I'll do that. Have a sip of my water. Thank God. I really need my medication. There we go. Okay. I'm praying all these strange things will stop happening, but I've got a creepy feeling in my gut that this madness is here to stay for the night. I'm so screwed. Um, there we go. Fuel is still holding steady, so I wonder once again if this can work during the duration. What the hell? Sensory overload. I don't think you're getting out of here, Daniel. Or Edward. Daniel. What? Where's the key? I, I saw it here earlier. I never did. The exit key, I swear, is right here. Could I be mistaken? Maybe I placed it somewhere else. I'm convinced it was in my locker. Someone is playing a trick on me. This has gone too far. I need to find the exit key right away. rattling around. Hang on. <laughs> Clinking sound is unnervingly close. Let's light that. Okay. It's the, the clinging sound is much more pronounced over here. Oh, that would explain why. There's the key. There we go. Give me that. What is it doing tied up to the ceiling chain? It isn't funny anymore. Yeah, give me that. Okay. So at least I have the key. I'm getting out of this fucked up place right now. Oh. Okay. So now the lighter is dead. Okay, so the stairs are the opposite end. 
I'm just going to focus on the middle and try and steer clear of the dark corners as I head straight for dark corner. Hey, do as I say, not as I do. And now it's working. What? All these chains and locks were here before. And the door handle. It's just gone! So now we're playing Silent Hill the Room? Can't figure out how to open it. This is just absurd. The exit key was tied around. <gasps> Hang on, I'm not done yet. Uh, the X key was tied over to some chain I have never seen before, and everything here getting weirder by the minute. I need a game plan. I'm going upstairs to report this crazy night from my living quarters. I'm definitely not sticking around for the aftershock. Probably need to take the... Whoop! Ugh, system cop. I thought that was like a hand or something. Okay, we need to take one. Do. Okay, the human body cannot hold that much blood. I mean, maybe it can, but that's some definite signs of arterial spray. Not that I'm a doctor or a mortuary assistant, but I've seen enough to know that that is more than, probably more than what's in one human body. So any of my doc, any doctors out there or morticians, feel free to let me know and correct me. shift is seriously testing my limits. I don't understand where the blood trails are coming from, but some of them seem to lead to this pipe. Maybe the valve handle that fell to the floor earlier has something to do with it. Hopefully it's returned to where it belongs. The madness will stop. Where will I see it? Oh, hello. More blood. Um... Where's the handle? Where's the ha valve then? Um, somewhere back in the main morgue level. Let's say dropped it on the table. There's a bright and shiny blood. Oh, we still okay. We still have enough pills. I don't want to take anything right now. Lighter fuel seems to be working okay still. There it is. There we go, okay. Come on, go on then. Into the wall. There we go. Show me beyond the wall. 
Now what? Okay. Now what? What in the world? This is such a terrible idea. <laughs> okay. I lost my mind. Where am I? Just take one. And we'll leave the last... Well, we better take both. Okay. Yeah, one for good luck. That gives us a decent place. There's a bone. Um, some jaws. Okay. Boys? Don't mind me. Just gonna slowly tread our way through you. Come on. Wow, you guys are just still hanging on from me, aren't you? They're just. Come on, man. Both hands are holding items, okay. there. I'm not trying to discount this game. I really am not. I just, once again, I played a lot of horror games and there's certain things that are good and other things that are overdone. Okay. Now will be a time for you to turn around and run. for playing Dark Fracture pre-alpha. Your gameplay time, 47 minutes. 48 minutes. Okay, so here's my thought on Dark Fracture. This game has potential. It really does. But I feel like there is a lot happening. Like, they're trying too much to make it work. They're throwing in the jump scares, they're throwing in the insanity feature, they're throwing in some Lovecraftian thing. I feel like it got a little too busy too fast to the point it became predictable. Was it bad? No, no, it was very strong. The graphics are good, I like the ambience, I just feel like space it out a little bit and give the atmosphere a chance to sink in as opposed to jumping straight into the jump scares. But that's just my thought process. I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know. Um, what do you think of the graphics? What do you think about the plot? What do you think about um, the overall um, atmosphere of it? I mean, I'm sure this is going to get fleshed out a whole lot more when the final game is released at the end of this year. But for the meantime, I feel like there's just a few things, but I'd love to know what you guys think. I read every comment, and I try to reply to every comment. Also, a big thank you to Christoph Ray for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project. If you like low-poly horror games with an emphasis on atmosphere, fear factor, character development, storyline, check him out. Link is in the description below. Guarantee you, you will not be let down. So, of course, that being said, before I call tonight, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily defunct Twitch page. And hey, if you are interested, I do have a Patreon where for as little as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive content, such as the patreon always section of my Discord, as well as weekly patron uploads. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic night, and I will catch you all on the flip side, all right? Peace. 
Hey y'all, while my gratitude knows no bounds for every single bit of love and support y'all have shown for me over the years, there are a few people that I legitimately want to take a few minutes to thank for their unending help and support. Uh, first of all, obviously Christoph Frey, not just for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project, but also for letting me use his music from Gabba Transistor for in my streams, as well as him kind of coming up with his own little fragment for my new introduction to my, um, the Boogie Night Project. And speaking of introductions, the intro, as well as my YouTube banner page, um, were done by the amazing Oren. You might know him as Oren VDK, as well as Oren from Couple K. Cakes. Thank you so much, Oren. I really do appreciate the time you took to put together everything from the banner to the beautifully done introduction that merged perfectly with Christoph's music from Gabba Transistor. So big thank you to them. And also, this would not be possible with the help of my extremely amazing patrons, both current and former, uh, such as Lexi Kitty, Silverleaf, Barry Grave, Harkov, Jure, Larian, and Oren, as well as a few others that have come and gone over the years. Y'all, this would not be possible without your help and your support. Um, I know I have not been able to provide much in the way of um, uh, giving back in Patreon rewards, but I am in the process of revamping my Patreon as well as the rewards that I can do, so be prepared. Um, I know I joke about it, uh, saying that if you're morbidly fascinating, check it out, but if you do want to give um, to the Boogie Night Project, that is the easiest way to do so, and I am legitimately setting aside funds to buy more hardware for my computer, as well as making things look more professional but once again, very big thank y'all to everybody who has supported me from the beginning all the way to the present, um, as well as those individuals that have gone out of their way to help. So once again, guys, thank you so much for all your constant love and support. My gratitude knows no bounds, and I'll catch you on the flip side. All right? Peace.